Hello, this is Justin Figueroa with Thrustflight, and today we'll be talking about how to get familiar with the G1000. So familiarizing ourselves with the G1000. At first, it's so daunting. It's so hard. Uh, there's that big screen. Luckily, I had to step up, and when I went through electricity, it made more sense to me, the, the uh, realm of the actual screen and what it had to deal with. Uh, but for you coming in and seeing it for the first time and trying to understand what is going on with all the numbers and all the movement and all the lines that are going from left to right, what is exactly going on? So one word of advice that I could give you coming in and seeing this little screen or even big screens for the first time and these aircraft is to be able to sit down and just see what each button does. Turn the knobs, see what they do. Each page has a different uh, function, right? And being able to just discover that every single thing has a moving part and one's a toggle switch and one's not, and one's a switch to, to hear the person right next to you, one's a switch to hear ATC, right? So all these little things come together, uh, but being able to discover it and know how it works is sitting down and basically chair flying it, right? So we chair fly maneuvers. We could also chair fly a G1000, being able to look at the screen and see what it does. For example, you're at home, you didn't know how the iPad worked at first, but after a while, if you had to ever teach like grandparents or mom or dad how to use it, it took step by step and, and the function to like, oh, this is the menu button. This is how you go to, to settings, grandma. This is how you set up your screen, right? So just how you set up a wallpaper for your grandma, you, this is how you would teach and learn how to use the G1000. So going back to the chair flying, um, you also could chair fly in the simulator. So that's like an option where you actually could get in the Redbirds here at Thrust. Uh, and it's really cool, right? So it's like a video game that allows you to actually learn the systems while you're not in the aircraft itself. So less stress, you're there learning, you could pause it, you could then kind of watch um, basically all the brain cells move in the system and be able to understand it more and more um, as you go along, as well as you have an instructor right next to you allowing you to see each step and what happens when you turn a big knob instead of a small knob. So there is gonna be a lot of trial and error to learning the system. You don't learn it overnight. And if you do, man, you're different. Uh, but since we're not all built different, it, I understand completely. I started off learning it and I learned maybe half the screen. Um, and then the other half came as, as long as you keep the consistency and that drive going forward, know your exp expectations that you could achieve anything, right? It's just more of what the goals that you set and where you want to be in this whole process. And the more that you practice it at home on a simulator, on, there's even apps out there for the G1000 that you could actually go through on the iPad to know exactly what settings and functions to use. So guys, that wraps up today's video on familiarizing yourself with the G1000. I know that just scratches the surface. Uh, we actually have an old video if you click up right here above uh, where Tanner actually goes into depth on learning this G1000 and it helps a lot to go through this briefing. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on some future videos and hit that bell notification. Then you can get the notifications right to your phone.